Welcome to Translogic. I'm Jonathan Buckley. VR or virtual reality is something that we've been hearing about for over 20 years. We've even seen various incarnations of it, but now it seems poised to break out in a big mainstream way. And that's why we wanted to show you firsthand how this new technology could transform an episode of Translogic into an entirely new viewing experience. <laughs> Well, it's a great time for you guys to be involved in this area, isn't it? Because we've seen this technology or the idea of this technology for close to two decades, but now we actually have not only the ability to create the content, but for individuals to be able to use the content as well, don't we? Yeah, we're in like sort of a perfect storm uh, right now where we have smartphones with gyros built in and quick refresh screens so that I can put an app on your phone right now where you can watch 360 content. Also, we have camera systems that are not only compact, I mean, we have 4K iPhones now. So now yeah. we have small camera sensors and CCDs that we can you know, create VR rigs that are small enough and, and high frame rate enough and high res enough that we can actually create truly immersive high def uh, experience. A lot of brands have been asking us, you know, can this play on Facebook? And now it can. Same with YouTube. Yeah. And I think the next tipping point are the introduction of these VR headsets to the consumer. So Oculus Rift, uh, the new Samsung Gear VR, the Sony Morpheus, these will come into the market within the next year. And that's really when you're going to see brands that are going to come in and saying, all right, we have a way to deliver the content. Now let's make the content. When it comes to equipment that you use, is some of it proprietary? Do you have to create your own uh, gadgets and gizmos? So when we started, uh, we researched, how do you film like this? There wasn't an answer. There was, there was literally no turnkey <laughs> yeah. solution no. to creating virtual reality content. So we set out to create some of our own equipment and also use other equipment that's out there and sort of, you know, hobble it together and make something work. And now we're at a point where we have our own camera system. Well, Hutch, we met earlier this year at EV West and this beautiful 308 was in the shop. What exactly have you done to the, we call it the GTE now, don't we? Yeah, you have to go back. It goes back a long way in history, but this car had to go on a metal diet right away. Yep. There was, you know, 3,200 pound roughly curb weight on this car and we don't want a slow fat golf cart. And as far as we know at this point right now, this is the only fully electric Ferrari in the world? We have dug up everywhere and done research on the internet, pawn, just you know, look through the community and the Ferrari chat community. We can't find anyone who said they've done it. Well, we're out here today at Willow Springs. We have this beautiful Ferrari 308 behind us, which I'm lucky enough to drive. So virtual reality is perfect for experiences like this, where we can put you in the passenger seat of a car and you can drive with the viewer and experience a track like this on an amazing day with beautiful weather and uh, it's the next best, best thing to being there. Welcome to Translogic's very first virtual reality test drive. Now, if you're new to this kind of business, first thing you need to do is to start to look around. So look up, look down, look to the left, to the right. We've got a full 360 degree view. The track we've come out to is the Horse Thief Mile. It's out in California at Willow Springs Raceway. Take a look out the window. Beautiful scenery and we even took the top off for you so you can take a look up at the sky. So today we're using a rig which is essentially a cluster of cameras in a sphere. What that's doing is it's, it's shooting everything at once and then we go into our editing bay and we stitch each camera position together to create a full 360 degree spherical video. Is that a really time consuming process or is there software that's going to take care there, of that? There is software, but for what we do, sometimes we use somewhere between five and eight programs just to, to finish one high quality film. You might notice that the car that I'm driving right now isn't really making any kind of engine noises. Well, no, I'm not driving a Prius. I'm actually driving a very iconic Ferrari, the 78 Ferrari 308 GTS, although this has been renamed the GTE. What other applications do you reckon we can find ourselves using virtual reality for? Well, you know, it's, it's great now that we're in the place that, you know, it can be applied in so many different ways. I've seen people do it for yoga experiences for, for mental health and therapy, entertainment, experiential, live video, tactical training, video gaming, that's a huge one. Every so sort of human experience that you can think of. Still drives. 
just like it used to when it came out in 1978. And there you go, a lap of the Horse Thief Mile in a 78 Ferrari GT. GTE, that is. Do you think at some point that we'll actually get to a stage where we could maybe even cover live events so people could be immersed? Say, for instance, a car race. It, it's happening. They're already doing uh, sideline games of NBA games yeah. where you can actually watch them from the sideline. So it's, it's coming. It's always had this kind of gimmicky feel to it. Right. Do you think that it will surpass that and become mainstream? Most of the analysts out there say that the VR and AR, augmented reality, you know, world is going to surpass the mobile industry by 2020. Well, we've gotten to see how VR works. Now it's time to see it in action. And while I'm no Lewis Hamilton, I hope you'll enjoy taking a spin with me on the VR drive at the link below. For TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. See you on the track.